So we consider four objects, each having the same mass and the same radius. A solid sphere, a hollow sphere, a flat disk in the xy plane, and a hoop in the xy plane. And in order of increasing rotational inertia about an axis through the center of mass, the parallel to the z-axis is 1. So we want to go increasing moment of inertia. So we want to rank i. But we know that i is given in two different forms. The one that most people will see or learn first is m i r i squared. And this says for each mass, we look at its radius, that that mass is away squared. The heavier that mass is, or the further it's away, will increase the moment of inertia. So things that are compact, are low mass and compact, are going to be the ones that are the lowest moment of inertia. And when I say compact, I mean the one where most of its mass is close to the radius. So close to the rotational, um, the rotational axis. So where we concentrate most of our mass along the z-axis is going to be the one with the lowest moment of inertia, since they all have the same mass and they do have the same radius. So let's draw some of these things. So we have a solid sphere. We have our z-axis pointing in this direction. We have our sphere that looks like this, and it's solid. We have, again, our z-axis. This time we have a hollow sphere. Same radius, but this time it's hollow. So all of its mass is concentrated on this outside edge. We have another case where we have a flat disk in the xy plane, which means that we have a disk that looks like this, giving a little bit of a dimension, but it's solid all the way through, and it all has the same radius. And last but not least, we're going to have a loop where all of its mass is concentrated on the outside. So we ask ourselves, which of these is going to give us the most moment of inertia or the least amount of mo moment of inertia? So I'm going to look at this case right here. And without even knowing what the, what the coefficients are for these, I can actually determine this by just knowing the further the mass is away, on average, the higher the moment of inertia. Well, this mass, all of the mass, is sitting at the farthest distance away possible. None of these other objects have the mass as far away from the z-axis as possible. This one has, you know, this guy has some at the edge, but also has some on the inside, right? There's some distances all the way through here that have this. The hollow ring, on the other hand, or this sphere, has some at different points as well, right? There's a point here, there's a point here, there is a point at the very edge. But this guy right here is going to be the largest moment of inertia because it is the one where all of the mass is at a distance of our largest radius. So I know that the hoop is going to be the largest. So my case is where one is the end, I need four at the end. So I can eliminate two of my choices. All right. One and three are bidding for the, the, uh, the closest. Oh, that's a tricky one. So let's see if we can't figure out what's going on. This sphere right here, if we were to look at the, where the mass is distributed, this piece right here, this little, if I were to take a core sample and drill straight down through the middle and kind of take like a potato and shove a straw through it and look at that piece, that's a really large mass compared to a same mass here. This mass is much closer on average than here. They're both circular on looking in the z direction, but this one has a much deeper thickness closer to the z axis. So z is going to be smaller than our disk. 
And this ring here has more mass on the outside of it. This has that disc part in the middle. So I'm going to say 1 is going to be my smallest. So my largest was the ring. My smallest is the sphere. Oh, and I'm still not done. I haven't eliminated my choices yet. I have to figure out, is the disc or the, the sphere um, larger? This one, honestly, I can't visualize. The other ones, I could come up with some good arguments. I just know that for a hollow, or for a disc, this is a 1 half m r squared. And for the outside guy, this one, oh, I actually don't know this. This is the 2 fifths m r squared. I need to know which one this is. I don't know what that value is. This is m r squared. So I don't know what the value is for this, this guy. Can I use geometry and just some visual looking at this to figure it out? Well, I know all the mass is on the outside of the sphere. So this is like a balloon where the rubber is holding all the mass. And I see over here that this point right here and this point right here, these points where a lot of the mass is are still very far away from the axis. Whereas I'm going in here, I get closer in. So I think this guy is the second and this is the third. So when I look at my answers, I have the smallest is one. I have one, three, two, four. So my choice C is the right answer.